As this was the first all-metal airplane manufactured in the United States made of aluminum, they did not have any experience with aluminum, and they, for strength they put corrugations in it, same as barn siding. And so it's the same thing, it's very strong in the direction. They discovered after they built this airplane that aluminum by itself was strong enough as the skin, and they designed other airplanes out of there without the skin. Henry Ford was a visionary, and he thought that commercial aviation would develop into an industry. He had already captured the automobile industry, and he thought aviation would be the next big industry, so he wanted to be in it. He hired a designer to design this airplane, and then he mass-produced it. And uh, he built 199 Ford Tri-Motors over a five-year period. Well, Henry Ford, when he caused the airplane to be designed, wanted a very safe airplane. So he specified it would have three engines on it because it would appear safe to the passengers, but also for the reason that if an engine failed, it would continue to fly on any two motors. And there's 10 passenger seats in the back and uh, two pilots up front. It's just different, but people enjoy it. And the seats are comfortable. They're big seats, lots of leg room, uh, head room. You can walk around inside the airplane. The best part of the airplane is the windows on both sides are these huge picture windows. If you've been on a little CRJ airliner in the last 30 years, you've got these tiny little portals. You can't see anything out of it. This airplane is the exact opposite. Uh, it's a blast to fly it. It's a total different experience than flying an uh, airliner as far as the control inputs. It's old, it requires uh, seat of the pants flying, it's called, and a different set of skills, and I enjoy flying this airplane for fun on a warm, sunny day.